A committee of eight people is to be chosen from 10 males and 11 females. How many different ways are there to choose a committee that consists of an equal number of males and females? So first of all, if our committee is eight people in total, and we need an equal number of males and females, that means that after we've chosen those males and females, we need there to be four males and four females. That's the only way that we'll have equal numbers of each. Now in total, the number of males that we can choose from are 10, and the number of females that we can choose from are 11. So let's look at the males here first. If we have 10 males that we can choose from, that would be n equals 10. And we are choosing exactly four males. In other words, r equals four. We can do the same thinking here for the females. We have a total of 11 females, or n equals 11, and we are choosing, in other words, r, exactly four of them. Now, since we're putting together a committee that has uh, four males and four females, you might recognize that word and, and hopefully it reminds you of the fundamental counting principle. If we see this and, that means that we take the number of combinations for males and multiply it by the number of combinations for females. So, let's set it up. Um, looking at the number of males, n choose r becomes 10 choose 4, 10 males, and we're choosing 4 of them. And we're going to multiply this by the number of combinations for females, which is 11 females, and we're choosing 4 of them. Putting these numbers into our equations, we get 10 factorial divided by 4 factorial multiplied by 10 minus 4, or 6 factorial. And that gets multiplied by 11 factorial divided by 4 factorial multiplied by 11 minus 4, uh, which is 7 factorial. And if we were to go ahead and plug all of that into a calculator, do the math, we would find the number of uh, ways we can choose a committee ends up being uh, 69,300 different ways.